Lovely Libras. Hello. Here we are yet again for another tarot spread for the week ahead. Um, my readings are intended to be for about seven days from whenever you watch this. So it doesn't really matter when it was uploaded. It matters if you were drawn to it. Okay. Um, so this is for Libra and Libra cross watchers. So calling in guides, calling in angels, anyone from the highest good that has a message to come forward for our collective Libra soul tribe. One, two, okay, bam, ace of pentacles, what? So we've got something going on here, ooh, and a page of, ooh, yeah, oh, and so, damn, somebody might not be single by the end of the week, eh? Awesome. So we have um, bottom of the deck, which is the foundation, foundational message is the Ace of Pentacles. Um, we also have the Page of Fire and the Six of Fire. So that's like victory. That's like, I kind of feel like this is like getting what you want. For some of you, I think um, there was a, uh, when is it gonna happen? When is it gonna happen? When am I gonna get the offer? When am I gonna hear? When am I gonna hear back? Um, and it might be something about a job. Um, but it also might be something about commitment or a tangible new start. Um, because in the main spread, the only card that flipped over was the nine of air in reverse. And to me, that's my oh, card because it's like the waiting and the anticipation is almost too, too much to bear. I mean, especially if it's like real fiery, whatever it is that you're into and you're really, really into it. Um, it can automatically put you in a state of anxiety if you don't have like a firm grasp on where it's going. <laughs> we also have the Ten of Fire in reverse. I mean, that's what I'm saying. It's like this is the week of blowing off all I heard steam. But it's almost like there's been a buildup and a charge up that has been going on for so long, which would have been this, right? All of these things happening until finally it's like, okay, now I can see that at some point things are going to like not only get better, but like get hella better, right? And then these two came out together. the Empress in reverse and the Lovers in reverse. Her getting what she want doesn't look like what it is. The hell does that mean? Getting what you want doesn't look like what it is. So you get what you want. But so the emperor, let me just try to vibe the empress in reverse. Okay, so the empress at this current moment is a hot mess, which would make sense because Venus is moving around all crazy, and we are ran by I mean, this is essentially Libra or Taurus, but. This is an off-balance goddess, basically. Um, and I don't think that... The lovers in reverse... I kind of want to go the route of self-love with this. Because, because the Empress is a mess, right? And it's kind of like finding out, um, God, I heard the song, I see your true colors. 
But that song goes in, that's why I love you, so don't be afraid. Right? Because I was going to get all negative about it. Like, I, you know, I see your true colors, and you're this, and you're that, and blah, blah, blah. But I just think that there might be some Libras who have been wishing and hoping for something specific, manifesting it like crazy, almost obsessing over it, and then they get it, and it's like there's issues with it, but you still get it. And the sleepers were like, so we love love, whatever. So, uh, Brian Fowles, Fairy's Oracle, please. Oh. oh, no. Just saw the friends card. So we'll see. That might be, you know, for, I'm, I'm going to, mm, I don't want to say it. For some people, you might get like friend zoned. Like, we're just going to stay friends. It's okay. Like, we're not going to. And so, but that's, but that would be the new start, right? Which would then give you the victory to, but that was just because the friends card flew out and I dropped it. So let's, for, for one person or a few people that might be relevant, but let's see what comes out on the board. Who do we have for a Libras and Libra Quash Wash? Wait, please. Hmm. Yay. Well, these came out together. We have um, Tate and the Sylph and the Pook. So this is my Pisces card. It doesn't look like a Pisces. I mean, it looks like a Pisces. <laughs> but they're like, and I always, I like to talk about this guy as like the, the cool hippie dude at like a festival where he's like, hey, yeah, it's raining, but we're having a good time. You know, it's like, it's that guy. It's the good and the bad, the bad with the good. It's, um, there is a resolution. It's like, and then coming out together with, with heat and silk, it's like you, you, you figure something out, right? And then you quickly move toward a resolution toward it. Or like this is this little critter moving towards resolution. Because I want to, just going back to this, I'm, it's like for at least the last like week or so, or if not more, there's some, there's been an empress who has really been feeling unloved, like really been feeling unloved and unwanted and people are out doing dumb shit, trying to essentially hurt the empress or, um, and if you're a male watcher, this is going to be a female in your life that this is happening to. And you might be this male right here because this is a very masculine card to me. Um, but actually, I kind of want to say that this might be the masculine in our story at the moment, but we're going to get a little farther. But this Empress is a hot mess because she's like, she's like, well, maybe I have to go the route of self-love because there's nobody else who is willing to do it. And that's not... You know, I'm not talking about friends. I'm not talking about people who are like, you know, friends. This is love. This is, there's nobody that wants to embrace me. There's nobody that wants to, that'll come visit. There's nobody that'll. It's painful. This is not gloomy doom type of shit. This is painful. Somebody is hella sad, right? But then here comes like an air sign. And they're like, look, let's, let's come to some kind of, and I'm saying air sign because it's one of my air sign cards, air, water. They might be both air and water. Like, look, I, I hear that. Like, look, let's. It is let's figure it out, but it's also I have an idea or I, I know a way around this or here's my plan. Could see how he's like, 
here's my plan. Here's what we're going to do. And I think that this empress, with her eyes closed, just like, I don't even care anymore. I don't even care anymore. And um, I think that this person, maybe a Pisces, maybe a Gemini, maybe an air and water sign mixed. I think this person comes up with an idea. I think that's, I think that's key. Because I think that this person loves the Empress, or our Libra female, and of course I can't pick up the cards. And they see this, right? They see it. They're like, this is too much for anybody to bear, particularly my Libra. So look, let's figure out how to completely, com her drastically change the situation. Because the Empress is losing Empress status as far as in her own mind because the Empress emb embodies love and embodies Venus, but you also have to be able to get it back. You know, when you dump out, when you fill up other people's cups, it's coming from your cup. And if it's not being returned, then that is, I mean, it's depleting. So here you have your masculine coming in, or, you know, vice versa, whatever, but that's how I'm going to say it for the reading, keep it in order. Like, look, I have this plan. What do you think about my plan? Who else we have coming out for Libra? Ugh. Yes, Penelope Dreamweaver. And I, I think this came out this morning too in the um, the daily is that some Libras have had a very, very profound dream. Maybe a couple of them recently here in the last week. And that's what new moons do. Um, but there's other planetary stuff going on too that would make it be like uh, easier to dream, easier to remember. But there's something about trust. Like, well, this person might not be saying. It's almost like talking in code. But what they're really saying is, And I think I want to go back to the friends thing where they're like, well, let's just, let's just hang out. You know, let's just, I was going to say Netflix and chill, but I mean, maybe if that's what you do with your friends, but it's very, it's very talking in code. It's a solution. It's a plan. It's a resolution. And then there was an additional dream that Libra had that confirms that it's real or like meant to be or it, I mean I definitely kind of feel like this might be love related um, because because we have the lovers and the empress there I just I, I just want someone's like it's over it's over it's over and and I just, I don't even care anymore. I don't care, I don't care about anything. I don't care, no one loves me, no one wants me because this is the one that I manifested and now it's gone. But then here they come in, like, look. I think the point of that message is that what, and that might be what I heard before, is like what you manifested is and what it looks like. Because I think there might be like in the dreams, in the dream state, in the 3D state, they're all, I love you and I want you and you know, whatever. But in the 3D state, they're like dry as a bone. And that would seem, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. See? Because here's your man, right? Essentially the emperor of the forest. He knows. 
He knows exactly what he wants. What's this Empress? Those are two earthy, like, it's you. I know it's you. My heart chakra says it. My third eye says it. My bliss place, place says it. And, and of course these came out together, they too have been spiritually guided. I would not surprise me to find out that your counterpart has also been having dreams about you. But there's something, this is spiritual guidance. This is Laced, the moon's daughter. She knows what's coming. And look at how happy they are. Like they can both see what's coming, but there's like a little fear. There's a little bit of um, kind of like a Pisces energy where there, it's like all smoke and mirrors, you know. Some of it is going to be like not defensiveness because that's not the right word, but like um, on guard. Probably have to be, you know because of something in their past, but I mean, we essentially have an emperor and an empress of the forest right here. And he's looking right at what he wants. And she's not happy and she's all sad. She has her like sad goggles on and he's all kinds of lit up. I mean, he is lit up. He's got spirit in his ear. Like, dude, your girl is dying. <laughs> Your girl cannot handle this anymore. There is, you need to love, you need to see, you need to find bliss, right? And they're both looking over at him, like, do this, do this, do this. And it's like charging him up to be like, okay, I think I will. But then he gets over at, to do it and he's like, okay, look, let's just watch a movie or something. <laughs> but this little air sign Libra is like, okay, because I, it's like, bam, it's like she is, she's like in the super duper duper dark place, right? And I feel like Wednesday is going to be significant, but she's in the super dark place. And then he gets like the urge or the, um, It's like he's spiritually driven. Like he just wakes up. He's like, I have to, I have to call my Libra or I have to text my Libra or I have to, I have to make this right is what I heard because it feels like everything's been off balance for everybody. And again, we'll go back to this. I mean, and it might be, it might be sex because that's, you know, page of fire. Right. But it's definitely this time. I want to be like this time. It's way more grounded. This time it is the seed is being planted. Because normally when you have the ace of pentacles, you have like just a seed. You know, like, here it is, here's my seed, blah. But this king of the forest puts it in the ground and then he goes and showers his queen of the forest with love and affection. And then she then does what? What does the empress do? She makes things grow. She makes them abundant. And I think that he knows that if he would just water the empress a little bit, that she would respond. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is an extended. I want to see how exactly this goes down. Really excited to find out uh, how the essentially emperor of the forest makes this big change because it's, it's kind of cataclysmic, you know, because this is, she was going this direct, she was going this direction. God, I'm backwards on the screen. She was going this direction away, her tail between your legs, right? Away. And then he's like, Hey, wait, where are you going? And she's <laughs> not going anywhere. I'm going to you, right? I got to find out how. So if you're interested in uh, following me, the link for that is in the box below. Thank you so much for liking, subscribing, and sharing. And um, that's all I have for you, Leaves. Until next week, have a good one. Bye.